there's a clown in my woods inside my house. A what? A clown. Okay. He was just standing there. Worry and concern tonight in South Florida as people dressed as clowns are scaring some kids and adults, as you heard. That was just one of a handful of calls made to 911 this week. News Channel 5's Jacqueline Powell explains why deputies say they're taking these clown encounters very seriously. Detectives here at the Indian River County Sheriff's Office say they've gotten a few calls about creepy clown sightings in the past couple of days. Now they're trying to figure out whether this is one person dressing up as a clown or multiple people dressing up as different clowns. Now, a couple of different calls came from this neighborhood, Vero Lake Estates. One was that 911 call you just heard. That woman told deputies a clown wearing white with red hair came out from behind some trees near her house and was staring at her. And deputies tell us another man called from that same neighborhood saying a clown had chased his child and some friends when they got off of their school bus. Another report was on Oslo Road where two teenagers say they saw a clown as they were riding their bikes. The detectives here in Indian River County tell us there have also been reports of clown sightings in Palm Bay and they say they believe there could be several copycats in our area after clown sightings have been popping up across the country. There, there's a lot of buzz on social media about creepy clowns right now. Um, a lot of folks uh, potentially making threats. Uh, you know, people have a genuine fear for clowns. And of course, anytime people show a fear about something, you know, we want to show that we're here and we're able to assist. And so we're looking into this and taking it very seriously. Detectives say the descriptions of clowns that they've gotten in this area so far have been very vague. So they're asking anyone who might see one of these clowns to call 911 with as much detail as possible immediately. Reporting in Indian River County, Jacqueline Powell, WPTV News Channel 5. All right, happening right now, creepy clown at a bus stop in Pinellas County. An Alargo mom going on Facebook warning friends that her daughter saw a clown at her bus stop. The sheriff's office is now looking into it. So the now's Nicole Grigg is explaining real or fake these sort of clown sightings. Are they really making people nervous? The clowns are coming. Someone lurking in a clown mask along a dark dirt road in Ocala, Florida last week. This is an OPE. The Facebook video now with a million views, but there's more. This clown caught on video waving in Virginia and police body camera footage in Georgia arresting this man for running around and scaring women. Then there's this clown spotted in Wisconsin holding these black balloons. And in all, there's been almost a dozen creepy clown sightings across the nation. We have Florida and Georgia, but we can tell you three of them have been confirmed hoaxes. And they just keep coming. But all of this isn't slowing down sales of the killer clown costume at this Halloween store in Tampa. It's actually one of the most popular. I think people just brought it back out of cult horror and into the mainstream again. Okay, so wait a minute. When did clowns start getting such a bad rap? Come on, Marco. Well, we can go back to 1986 and Stephen King's novel It. It was even turned into a miniseries. Without this. Most recent, though, American Horror Story Freak Show featured an actual killer clown in their plot. These scary faces creating a bad image for the real clowns, like Molly Noodle the Clown from Orlando. We have guidelines that we use when dealing with children. You know, if we see someone that is afraid, I never approach a child. I let them come to me. That's why this video is just a reminder to talk to your kids about never following or approaching these costumes. For the now, I'm Nicole Gregg. SUDPS held a press conference today after multiple calls reporting clowns on campus yesterday night. That's right. The sightings are the latest in a string of creepy clown reports across the nation. DPS says none of the reports were able to be confirmed. And DPS released this statement saying, quote, All were investigated. No evidence of crime was uncovered. No one dressed in such costumes were found by responding officers, nor was there any video of such persons. Officers also gave advice on what to do if you spot a clown on campus. Here's what they had to say. This is not uncommon. This is pretty consistent with what's been happening across the country. Um, in most cases, these are uh, uh, the pranks when people are um, wearing a clown costume around the country. Uh, and certainly, um, uh, in many cases, they're false reports. Uh, that people might have thought they saw something that they didn't, didn't see or some of these reports are actually intended as pranks. 
While DPS was unable to confirm any reports, nor did any of the officers on patrol see any clowns, Citrus TV spoke with SU Junior Eunice Pack after she says she saw two clowns on the corner of Ackerman and Stratford around 11.30 this morning. When I looked towards Stratford, I saw two clowns um, kind of like on the, in the street, but also on the sidewalk. It looked like they were kind of walking um, out of like a house and they were just standing there. Um, one of them had an all painted white face and was wearing um, like a blue clown hat. Um, I don't remember what the other one was wearing, but they were both very like colorfully dressed from the neck down in what I believe to be clown clothes. Um, and then once I saw them, I just took off and ran towards campus on Euclid. And if you see any clowns, you should report it to DPS or the Syracuse police. But first tonight, creepy clown sightings are happening across the country, including here in the metro. And it is no laughing matter. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amy Anderson. There are concerns tonight that these creepy clowns and threats online will continue to grow as Halloween approaches. KCTV 5's Natalie Davis is live in Flat City tonight where police dealt with another clown sighting. Natalie. We've just confirmed with police and neighbors that at least one clown was seen in this neighborhood on Bellamondo Drive in Platte City Friday night. Now, we spoke with the people that live in this apartment. They're the ones who actually called the police. They say there was a girl inside who heard a rattling of the doorknob and a high-pitched voice speaking to her. She peeked out through the, through the hole and saw a clown with a green and red wig and eyes blacked out with paint. Other neighbors say they saw him, too. It's all anybody's talking about. It's October and most kids like to pull pranks, but they didn't like seem friendly. He's jiggling the doorknob. Everybody's like so scared because, you know, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's not the first report we've heard here in the Metro. Also on Friday, police and the Blue Spring School District were investigating a threat made by someone claiming to be a clown. Those threats were determined not to be credible. We checked out Facebook and found numerous scary clown accounts. Clowny Clownster, Bill the Clown, Slappy Sanders. It appears they all work together, adding as many people as they can to harass them. Slappy Sanders accepted my friend request, but when I asked him if he was using his profile to scare people, he promptly blocked me. A Kansas City woman reached out to us saying dozens of these types of accounts have been trying to add her. One even threatened her, writing, watch when I see you, watch when I catch you, put you in my basement. Creepy, I know, so you can imagine how scary it would be to see a clown trying to break into your home. A message from KCTV5 and from police. We know it's Halloween. We know it might be all in good fun, but taking it to a threatening level, it's too far. Live in Platte City, Natalie Davis, KCTV5.